Hello, we're Malta and we're doing the second Lily I bought last week. So Lily became a court painter and became Sir Peter Lily. And if you are a painter and you get to paint royalty in England, you, you hit the jackpot because once you've done that, first of all, the royalty will ask you to do it again and again and again, and all relatives will. But also the court and the other aristocrats and other rich people and we will want you to will want you will want him to paint them. So you you might write to Lily and say, Can you paint me please? And he would write back to you and he might say, well, I'll come and see you in you know four years, type of thing. So Lily was once he got going, he was very famous and very popular, he's a good artist, and he was reliable and he would know how to approach painting royal cities or important cities. And it's rather like the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, who had a royal photographer called Cecil Beaton, who was always hanging around, paint, uh, photographing all members of the family repeatedly, and he would know where to go, what door to use, what to say, how to say, how to say it, not, what, not, what not to say, and when to leave. And he would keep his mouth shut and uh, just get on with the job. So you have Lily, who was an earlier version of a modern royal photographer. So, Lely, Sir Peter Lely, he um, painted in the 17th century loads, loads of uh, cities, mainly, mainly, mainly men. And uh, in, the, in this one here, he's painting the Duke of Monmouth, who had a very turbulent life and turbulent, turbulent end. So it's, it's quite interesting to look him up. So what you have is the Duke of Monmouth. This part is the face, and Lily is well known for having accurate faces, which actually look like the sitter. So when, when you see that there, you will really, that's as good as you're gonna get for a painting, to be honest. The rest of it is background. And you can consider that background the same as one of those Victorian paintings. The paintings in, in this is in Malta, and if you, if you look at the Valletta photographs in the Victorian era, you have you know, staged sittings where the background is the same for everyone. So that is very similar. Sometimes you'll see with Lily that pillar on this side, you'll see different types of background, but it's a formulaic background. This pose is a well-trodden pose. This is a, is a regal pose. So, so Charles II was painted by Lee as well and lots of other people. And I thought that was Charles II the first time I saw it. Long hair, like a spaniel. One arm resting. In this case, the hand is hidden, but there are other ones where the hand is visible. In this case, there's a sword. In other cases, there is no sword. So it's a really, really beautiful picture. A little bit of armour. So it's alluding to the fact that Duke of Monmouth was a soldier at times. And you know, it's not, it's not a measly picture, it's really wide, with loads of space going on. It's not full body. Um, in fact, I have a feeling that, that the original had the full body in it. So this is like a three quarter size. So uh, this is where we where realise after paintings that they do change them, that the painters who are reproducing the originals do often change them. So we have a very, very pleasing regal pose with some lovely cloth and it's very much in the mould of Charles II. So we've discussed Lily, we've discussed the scene, the depiction, we've discussed the fact it's probably 1870, 1890, very good condition and I think this was relined and perhaps retouched. At the same time this frame was made. This is not the original frame. This is a 1980s frame. And it has a join here on this little bit of trim. Join there, join here, which is a shame. I've been really economising on the trim. But um, you can't see it unless you get close. But it is a wooden frame. It is a wooden frame. And it is a uh, fa fabricated, simulated, fake gold leaf. The panels the, the sheets of gold leaf, you can see, fake gold leaf, and they have little overlaps, and they're using a gold leaf sheet that size. 
fake gold leaf sheet that size. If it was real gold leaf, it would be yellower and smoother, and uh, you wouldn't get these deteriorations which turn black, it's like a corrosion. Uh, you get a much bright, base and brighter finish with gold leaf. And deterioration on gold leaf usually is water damage or, rub or rubbing. If you get the rubbing, you get the lovely redness through if they've used a red bubble, bowl being the undercoat for gold leaf. So it's, it's in Malta. Uh, the Maltese don't really want English paintings. They want their own stuff. They want Maltese paintings, and I would be the same if I was Maltese. But if, if, if there's a, an Englishman in Malta or someone who, someone who has a big house which need, needs to have some nice paintings on the wall, he's a good value, and they're large, and they're good condition. And we know that we know who painted the originals, and we know the subject, which is nice for you to know what they are. And if you have a really, really big hallway or huge staircase, this is the sort of thing you're going to need to make it look right. Um, in England, they sell for between two to three to five to six thousand pounds, depending on the subject, the frame, and the the size. Uh, I I think that they could very go easily go to London and be sold there, but I'm going to because it's very difficult to move pictures, physically move them, especially big ones like this, especially all paintings on canvas, they're going to leave them here. And I think at some stage, someone in Malta will, will have a go at them. There's two, there's a pair. By good fortune, though they're not a man and a woman, or siblings, they are an opposing pair. They are two leaders and how they are looking at each other. So if you do hang them as a pair, they're going to look okay. They match size, they match in the frame size. And um, I will, however, sell one or the other. So it is one or two, it's no problem. So they're an old for sale. Thank you for looking.